iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes, the best or nothing. It's Jack, Christine from Light FM. We are very pleased to have in the studio with us Brian Adams. Good morning. Brian, hey, good morning. Good, good to, to see, see you. you. Thank you. A new album is due in March. We're looking forward. It's been such a long time since we've heard some, you know, really good new oh, music coming thanks. out. That's so. very kind. We'll you know, well, this it. is funny because it's a funny time for me. I, I don't have a record company in America. And so uh, I'm releasing this album, like, through the Internet. Uh-huh. And so that's how it it is now. Yeah, that is. It's strange, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> so, quite happy to you for you to mention it. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Oh, not a We're listening to "Shine a Light," which was uh, it's just a beautiful song. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. And Ed Sheeran was involved. In yeah, it, I, I, I co-wrote the song with Ed, mm-hmm. and uh, we were both in Dublin. I played a show. He played the next night, so I went and saw a show. Uh, we stayed in touch and wrote a song over actually over email. You're. Uh, it seems you're very involved in the UK because, as I was telling you, I go on. I know. Wikipedia, so we have to be a little careful where we're getting our facts, oh, yeah. but it, it does have you as having a home there, having a home here. I, I don't know where the people get this information from. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Sorry. Come to the source. I knew I should double check. <laughs> Come yeah. to the yeah. source. <laughs> but you're going to start a tour. It's going to kick off in the UK, it's, it, it, You know what I have to tell you about my touring? It doesn't really stop. Uh-huh. It, it sort of goes, um, I have I do about between 80 and 100 shows a year. Wow. wow. Yeah. And just we just, keep, we just keep going around in the world, around the world. Oh, you know, we just finished. Okay. I just played finished playing Canada um, on Saturday night, and and then we have a strange gig coming up uh, at the Cayman Islands, uh-huh. and then we go start a UK tour, then I go to Australia, and then I come back and do Europe, and then we're playing America in the summer. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. So we'll catch you in the summer. Yeah, I'm You're visiting yes. some nice places too. That's <laughs> yeah, America. It's a nice that. place. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> It's do you? Nice uh, I have to ask. When you perform, do you enjoy doing the old stuff as much as of the course. new stuff yeah. as well? Well, the, the thing about doing the old stuff is that you don't you don't really have to do it. You just start the opening number, and everyone sings it for you. <laughs> <laughs> we do have it down. Do you still go back to the place in your head that you were at when you wrote that music, or are you kind of mm, detached I, now? You know what? I'm not the kind of person that's n- nostalgic in that sense. Yeah. I, mean, I am lyrically nostalgic but not um i kind of think about today and tomorrow yeah. i don't really sort of i let the past go yeah yeah i'm with you on that yeah <laughs> definitely and you <laughs> yeah. have so much going on now so congratulations pretty woman on broadway thank you yeah it's, it's been you, exciting you, you. well yeah. you know, this, I have to, this has been the most prolific i've ever been uh, i would think in the last two years because writing a musical is no is no uh, small feat i'm sure um and there's 20 songs it's an entirely original score and so we had to write songs for each vignette of the of the musical and through the process of doing that you know you probably write one or two other ideas maybe you get it right the first time but so there's probably 35 40 songs written for or ideas oh, for wow. just just to sort of simmer it down to 20 and then yeah. in the, in the sa- at the same time I was writing my own album so that's another 30 songs so I've yeah. yes that's a lot going on in here. Well, it's not, it's not that it's going on. It's just it's, it's just what's coming out. It's what's, yeah. <laughs> you know? Are the two things different, writing a song for a, a, a Broadway show and your album? I mean, Well, it's easier to write for if you have a mission. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're sitting with a blank piece of paper, sometimes it's not so easy. But, uh, you know, you, it's, it's songwriting by design. So you have, you know... You have to deliver a song by lunchtime, so you mm-hmm. start at ten o'clock in the morning and come to the come to the to the rehearsal during the lunch break and say, "This is the idea." They say, "Good, go finish it." So by the time supper rolls around, you have a new song present the next morning. I can't, uh, yeah, I can't imagine the process. That is that's incredible to me. And then also, when you're writing for Pretty Woman, you have to get into the head of those characters. Sure. Well, you have, you, you're given um, a mission, and, and I've I've done a lot of songwriting for film mm-hmm. in the past, tw- you know, 25 years. Yeah. So, you know, you you're given the the narrative of what you need to say. So this is about this, and they need to hit you need to sort of hit these points and say these sort of things, and so you come you find a way just to mold it, and it's it's great because it's it's a jigsaw puzzle. And I like jigsaw puzzles. Especially mm-hmm. <laughs> when they're done. Yeah. yeah. Is there... <laughs> and you look at it. But then it's not, then it's it's not completed. as much fun when you've done it. It's, 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 the, well, getting, it's yeah. the getting there. It's enjoyable. How, how involved did you stay in the process of Pretty Woman? Did you write the music and then say, okay, guys, here you go? Or are you, have you been with it the whole time? 
I don't know really what you mean because you you don't actually once you've completed the songs you mm -hmm. are completed you know once mm -hmm. they lock the show yeah. it doesn't change yeah yeah so when you go now are you, are you happy or yeah, are you of course that you, no I love I, it I want to it's change well <laughs> there's there's always something you could you could do differently but uh, no I think it's really it does exactly what it's supposed to do there was a lot of work put into that I mm -hmm. mean it's two years years right. I mean, there was n literally no stone left unturned. And whose idea was it to bring it to Broadway or to make it Gary a Marshall. musical? Okay. <clears throat> Gary Marshall, mm -hmm. uh, the original director. It was his dream to have it on Broadway. And I actually, coinc coincidentally, uh, 10 years ago, um, is it 10 years ago? Yeah, it's 2008. Um, I had gone to Disney and asked them if they wanted to make a musical out of it. Cause I, and I'd never done a musical. Um, and I thought it'd be kind of fun. But they said no. And then I heard through a friend of mine in New York that they were making it. So I put myself up for the job. Oh, yeah. And that's you what, already uh, had the idea. Well, I, I, yeah. I didn't have the idea, but I had the... I had the uh, desire. The desire yeah. to make it. So thank you for... <laughs> Christine is the Broadway aficionado. I just have to ask you off the other side, as an amateur photographer, are you still doing photography? Yes. And by the way, what an eye. I mean, you have oh, an yeah. amazing yeah. eye. For what I got do. two of them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank are you. Are you still doing that? Yes. You really went full force into that. Yeah. With the I still do a, a lot of it. Yeah. Um, and at the moment, I've just finished a book on uh, homeless people, which is coming out this year. I, my last book I did was on war veterans. It's called wow. "Wounded: The uh, Legacy mm. of War." And uh, before that, I did a book of sort of retrospective ph photography of fashion and and the arts. So yeah, I remember seeing one of them. The homeless is that going to be local around in New York? I, I don't know of? what the plan is. It's okay. it's um, basically uh, it's homeless people off the streets of London. Mm. That, oh okay. Um, but you know, it's homelessness is, is not something that's just uh, located in one. It's it's, it's right, worldwide. Yes. So. Right, of course. Yes. And you've done some of. I mean, looking at the photos, they're incredible, and some of the greatest artists. Uh, Lana Del Rey is one of my favorite. Oh artists. yeah, I love Lana. She's yeah. amazing. Oh yes, I wanted to ask you how it was to work with her because I understand she can be really shy. Yeah, well, she, it was interesting because when I worked with her, it was when she had just finished doing that Saturday Night Live thing a couple of years ago, and I don't know if she was particularly happy about it. Mm -hmm. So she just came into the studio after that. So yeah, but she was great with me. Yeah, the photos are beautiful. And Thank Amy you. Winehouse. Yeah, I work a lot with Amy. Oh wow. I worked. I did about. Six different photo shoots with Amy. Incredible. And I shot it for Harper's Bazaar America here as well. Yeah. And the Queen. And the Queen. How do you know all this stuff? <laughs> <I've>, uh, <laughs> Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Oh, no, no, okay. no, you've had ah. <laughs> an incredible, an incredible career. Are there yes. um it, yeah, it is so expansive. Are there moments that really stand out to you though? Like the I don't know, singing with Tina Turner, Live Aid, something All of those. Really... Every, everything you've just mentioned are yeah. all significant. Yeah. Um yeah, where do you start? I, I mean, know it's, that's how it's, I. It's, uh, it's I been a long road. Uh, well, uh, I don't know what to say. Really, yeah. <laughs> you seem yeah, like somebody who so it, you, you're just on to the new thing, the yeah. next thing. You, there's so many things that you want to still try and do. Well, What's... it's interesting because everything, one thing always leads to the next thing, and I'm just thinking about what the next thing is. Not not about the next thing right now is shine a light the new album and mm -hmm. getting that out to the world. Um, and we coincidentally did a very interesting thing with uh, DHL, um, who's a sponsor for. I never had a sponsor for a tour. They're going to plant a ticket for. They're going to sorry. They're going to plant a tree for every ticket we sell. Nice. And so, so that's going to be. It could be oh. like a million trees this year. Oh, that's wonderful! Another reason to buy a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is so so great. That's um, terrific. So yeah, I don't. This has got. It just has seems like a very happy time in your life. You've got your daughters. Your Yep. touring you've got a show on broadway um just the last question i always wonder how you manage to balance personal life with something like touring because that takes you away quite a bit of time yeah it does but uh i think it's nice to be i mean if let's say i was a, a banker um, and you worked nine to five every day if if you you'd probably not see your children as much either because you mm -hmm. might you might see them once in a while but it's just weekends occasionally that i miss out on you know mm -hmm. But uh, somehow or another, it's working fine. And I got to give credit to Steve Jobs for creating FaceTime. That really <laughs> makes a big difference. <laughs> for all of us. Brian, thank you so much for stopping by and, yeah. and sharing this with. It Not was, at all. Uh, My pleasure. A pleasure to meet yeah, you. Really thank nice you very much. You. Thanks for Come see the show. Music. Yes, we will. We will.